Hello everyone and welcome to how to fill out a chain of custody form. As forensic scientists, it's very important that we always keep track of who has handled any of our evidence that we have collected. Let's start by filling out exactly what evidence we have. For today's piece of evidence, we're going to be using a fingerprint we found on the scene. So we're going to collect this, fill out our evidence form, and then focus on the chain of custody. So for our submitting agency, this is whoever we're working for. I'm just going to say City of Salem. Today's date is April 5th, 2023. I collected this at 8 a.m. The item number, let's say this is our second piece of evidence we've collected. Case number, I'm just gonna do 0001. That's unique to whatever case you're on. Collected by myself. And the description of, of evidence is um, fingerprint on paper. Location we're collected, we're going to say Walmart. And then type of offense, we're gonna say theft. So that is the evidence side of things. This is where some people can get a little bit confused uh, when we're trying to figure out receive from, by, date and time. So I'm the one who collected the evidence. So whoever is receiving it is receiving it from me. So received from Tarbell. Let's say Mr. Hoffman is the one who I'm giving it to. So Hoffman on the same day at 11 a.m. Now we know exactly who has had it. I've collected it. It came from me to Hoffman. Now it's in Hoffman's possession. Mr. Hoffman probably doesn't want to hang on to this evidence, uh, so he's going to give it to the detective that's on the case. So he's giving it from, received from Hoffman by detective. We'll use an actual name usually. Let's say it's the next day at noon. Hopefully you're getting an idea of how we would be doing this. Whoever you're receiving it from by whoever is getting it, date and time. This gives us an amazing tracking way of keeping track of who had it. So, uh, for example, if for some reason this fingerprint got messed with, like maybe someone spilled their coffee on it or it got lost, we can track who had it last. They're the ones liable. And important part of doing this is making sure that you do it in pen, not pencil. Pencil you can erase, you can mess up, you can, uh, someone can tamper with it. Pen is the way to go. If your evidence in chain of custody is not written in pen, I will not be counting it. It could be written by whoever. Hopefully at this point you have a good idea of how to fill out chain of custody and your evidence log. Feel free to watch this video again, and you've got this. Go science!